Over the last few weeks, there have been several sightings and videos by pilots describing what have become known as racetrack UFOs. The pilots describe distant lights that seem to be orbiting in circles or a racetrack, a common type of holding pattern. These sightings are generally in the north, by the Big Dipper, and generally seem to go from left to right. Multiple people have determined that the most likely explanation for these is Starlink satellites. Simply because the lights don't go in circles or a racetrack, they go in a perfectly straight line. They are also in the same place in the sky as some matching Starlink satellites flying in the same direction and at the same speed. The most common objection to this is that the pilots say they were not Starlink satellites. Well, I even think that even satellites, if they were even geosynchronous, geosynchronous they, they're not going to sit there and do 360s in a circle. There's, that's not going to happen. They're not going to be doing this this orbit that, that you, I saw some of the videos you posted. There's no way those are satellites. It's impossible. They are half right in that it's not the common string of bright lights that we usually think of when we get UFO reports that turn out to be Starlink. Those are Starlinks just after launch. This is something different. Starlinks that are fully deployed and are only visible when at the correct angle to the sun. Combined with the illusion of circling, it's quite understandable that the pilots would say that these are not the Starlink satellites they are used to. How can we tell it's not circling? Well, take the video and stabilize it. Then composite a frame every few seconds. Look at the spacing between the positions. It's the same. If it were going in a racetrack or a circle, it would slow down as it approached the end of the circuit, like with this light on a bicycle wheel. Instead, it's perfectly evenly spaced. What's happening is the satellite is reflecting the sun for a few seconds, like how you might see the sun reflecting off a passing car window or a plane like this one. This is called a satellite flare. Not a flare in the sense of bright burning chemicals, but a flare in that it flares up in brightness and then dims. Another thing that indicates a satellite is the colors seen in some videos. Mostly white, it flashes red and blue, just like bright stars do near the horizon. Here's Sirius, for example. This is due to atmospheric distortion and indicates it's a long way away, maybe in space. Why Starlink particularly? Well, there's a lot more Starlink in the sky now. Metabunk user Flocky showed us how to use InTheSky.org to display them to match the video. Click on Spacecraft, then Satellites in Your Sky, then go to Planetarium View. Scroll down and turn on the bright satellites, including Starlink. Then you can set a location, a date, and a time. Let's look at the MUFON report, number 124374. We've got the location, we know the date and time, plug that all in. Look over at the Big Dipper and we'll see Starlink satellites in that location, moving in the same direction as the lights and at the same speed that we see on the video. If a satellite is shown in red, that means it's illuminated by the sun and so will flare when at the right position and angle. Flaki also showed how the sun was directly underneath the satellite at that point, which makes sense if it's going to reflect the light back down. This was initially suggested by Reddit user Dan's Macabre Haunt. Flaki then did this with all the other videos where we have good time and location data. In each one, we found the same things. The lights were going in straight lines, not racetracks, and there were always Starlink satellites in that location, going in the right direction, opposite the sun, and moving at the right speed. So it seems very likely that all the lights seen on these racetrack videos were Starlink satellites. Now, there are some eyewitness accounts that don't fit, but the pilots have already made the understandable mistake of thinking something moving in a straight line was moving in a circle. So maybe there were other understandable mistakes. Pilots are human, and while they are great at flying planes, they are not always good at identifying things they have never seen before. But really, who is? Once everyone realizes these are probably Starlinks, this whole flap will be reframed as an example of how we need to remove the stigma of reporting UFOs, an issue of flight safety. That's fine. And I'm in favor of removing the stigma. If somebody sees something odd that they can't identify, then they should report it. But we also want to avoid false positives. We don't want Starlink flares to be reported dozen times a day for years. So we also need some good information from the FAA on how to identify when you're looking at something like this. 
That way we can weed out the things that are just noise. And if there's any real UFOs, something actually weird, then that will be a lot easier to spot.